here at the opening of the Slovenian pavilion. We have the curator and so uh, a project involving Maribor. And what is this project and what is the meaning of this pavilion, Slovenian? The Maribor project is an investigation into future possibilities of Maribor as a hundred year city and it is, is an invitation to 23 schools from around the world with 400 students and 100 projects to create visions uh, which will inform the city of Maribor but also add value to other cities about what is the new future urbanism, what is the new future architecture concerns for the practice and for for the discipline involving involving uh, uh, several workshops which ran over four days to, to discuss the, the future of thinking and this future of production of architecture. Uh, the third in Venice Architecture Biennale is it was developed as a software application for global collaboration and sharing of information which generated uh, 2.5 million hits which generated 2.1 million uh, file exchanges and conversations over a three month period that will be enabling uh, visionary thinking to be implemented into the city of Maribor and to generate new possibilities for city's evolution. Are these projects uh, made by students, uh, I think, anonymous uh, or are you involving universities, uh, students as well? The projects were produced by students under the leadership of some of the world's best architects who are professors or, or head studios in around the world. These projects were presented by the schools over a two-day period, uh, which were presented to other architects and other stakeholders to, to create a kind of a research lab discussion involving student research. One of the mainstream of this Biennale is uh, the focalizing on uh, people, spaces, uh, not only architecture and the uh, green economies. Uh, is this uh, interesting even in this uh, pavilion, in the Slovenian pavilion? As you, as you had this uh, project with students, uh, there are a lot of possibilities even for students that are not easily open to work. It's impossible to separate the notion of, of several typologies and differences as separate entities. Everybody who works today, I guess as a student or works in architecture, has to embrace these focal directions as part of their repertoires as a technique. So the projects that are evolving here are dealing with, so with a city of 100,000 people, which is a small, medium-sized city for Europe. But it's, it's about uh, asking what is, what is relevant, what is important, and how can we take risks to, to identify what these new directions will be. And what do you think about, these, uh, uh, about the project the Biennale Architecture makes uh, involving countries, uh, different problems, uh, this different aspect of not only architecture but living in this world? I think the Biennale still remains the world's leading uh, forum for architectural discourse. I think it's the difference of these discourses that enable some great ideas to emerge every two years. And what is really important is that the passion and that you get this in, in incredible uh, energy of the Biennale with so many people involved. And that's really the important part of the aspect of, of what we did here. And I think in the Slovene Pavilion, um, the, the sheer volume, the, the evolution of the project involving over 100 people is, is shows that you know you require kind of an open source system, an open system of thinking that enables a much better production of architectural space. And that's what the Biennale offers. Are there any prizes for the projects you presented here? Uh, there are, we started this as a, as a kind of a open source system similar to, if you like, Linus Torvald's uh, Linux system, which you put up an open source code and the thing you can contribute to the idea of the growth of the software. In this case, we put out the, the, the call to the world to contribute, and the world contributed with some amazing ideas. So the notion of prize winning was not the essence of this thing. This was about uh, engaging, this was about collaboration and adding value to a city and to the pedagogy and also to the discipline of architecture. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.